They made the big signing this offseason. The Caps also made a big addition mm -hmm. uh, in the form of a six foot nine defenseman and probably future Hall of Famer. And the New York Islanders take five to dispose of the Caps in round one. Washington Capitals have relieved head coach Todd Reardon of his coaching duties. The Capitals have hired Peter Laviolette as their new head coach. Peter might be just the guy to get this thing turned around in Washington. I'm excited to get in there and work with them, trying to take that next step together as a group. Henrik Lundqvist, the Capitals are saying, a one-year contract. I think for Washington, this is a win-win situation. I unfortunately won't be able to join the team this year. A new chapter has begun. Big Z is going to D.C. I don't know of any bigger guy, meaner guy, more respected and feared guy in front of that net than Zeno Shara. So I think it, it should work out really well. All right, so Big Z in D.C., Big Z and the King. Some of the notable additions to Washington this offseason. Of course, we mentioned Henry Lundquist will not be playing this season, dealing with health issues, wishing nothing but the best from us here at the NHL Network. But Justin Schultz, TVR, Connor Sherry, Craig Anderson for goaltending depth. Weeksy, uh, this team, compared to the team that we saw win the Stanley Cup in 2018, and we were there for that, are mm -hmm. they better on paper than that team that won the Cup? They're younger. They're certainly younger. There's a lot of young bodies in that lineup and a lot of speed. There will be a lot expected of some of these younger players to continue taking their game to the next level. Uh, no question about it. I mean, if you look... On that left wing, second line left wing, I love Vrana. Yeah. Vrana had a huge breakout season last year. For me, there's no question about it. And I also feel like the acquisition of Connor Sherry, Rupper, you've been a big Connor Sherry proponent based on your work in Pittsburgh. He's won cups. He knows what it takes. Um, and obviously, Haglin being down there. But the big thing for me on this whole board with respect to the great eight and Kuzi and Oshiba is number 43, Mr. Wilson. Tom Wilson, Dennis the Menace, this guy jams up everybody in the NHL. I don't care, shift to shift. He's Gronk on the ice. He changes the game. And Rupper, this is right in your wheelhouse. In a tight season, when the rivalries are going to be intense, playing the same team back to back, mm -hmm. etc. That's an X factor for me. No, it is. That's a huge X factor. And you mentioned the Connor Sherry, a very good value signing mm -hmm. here by the Washington Capitals coming over from Pittsburgh. Uh, let's not forget, he's had a lot of times in his career playing with Sidney Crosby. Totally. So he's that, got, to use your term, the elevator type player. He can move up and down your lineup. And Justin Schultz, don't look past what he can do and, and provide on that team as well. But when you look at the back end, talk about the big Z. And you know what, Weeks, you yeah. always come up with the nicknames. I came up with one for him. What do you I got? got? The Washington Monument. Oh, I got the nice. Washington I Monument. Right? I love it. And the big Sick. Z on the back end. And I like right. this decor. So I'll tell you what, Brendan Dillon. Very underrated defensive in my books. I Big love time. what he brings to the table. I love Dimitri Orlov. We know about John Carlson. I don't need to talk about him anymore. I mean, that's a nice decor right there. And it's very important mm. that the Washington Monument is on full display in front of the net because other goaltending was Samsonov, yes. the inexperience in net. Mm. I don't know, Weeksy, I never played the position. But I'll tell you what, as a forward on an opposing team and you've got young, inexperienced goaltenders in there. I'm going to make his life miserable, get in front of that net, take his eyes away, fall on him anytime I can after whistle. Well, guess what? The big Z is not going to have it. So clear out the front of the net, let him do his thing. That's one of the biggest assets I think they got in the signing of Daniel Chara. How about when you have Chara and Wilson on the ice at the same time? If you're an opposing player, better keep your head up. Huh? Oh, you better keep, keep your head up. Keep your head up if you're on the caps, too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There'll be people flying all over the place. You know so, what? You incredible. got two aircraft carriers providing different stuff, or maybe you have a sub and an aircraft. I love on-ice security. I'm a big believer and a big proponent in any NHL, especially today's modern game, this year, 56 games. To Rupper's point, some teams will test you. And when you're playing back-to-back, -back, there might be a lot of accidental on purpose. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, did I, did I get you there in, the, in a soft spot? And to your point, you've got those two guys out there, up front and on the back end, that changes everything. For the opposing teams. And especially come playoff time, you need a little yes. bit of that grit and nastiness. Totally. So Washington certainly adding yep. some of that this offseason. Look.